Welcome back. You all know what time it is. Let's play some sleeping dogs. Multiple arrests in San Francisco, alleged ties to organized crime. And now you're here, enforcing for the sun on ye. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to throw your life away like this. <laughs> your concern's really moving. You know, I appreciate that. I'm suddenly realizing I should have never dropped out of art school. You know, I could have made it. I could have been a real somebody. Thank you for showing me the light, officer. I want to give you a chance, Shen, but you have to work with me. <laughs> then maybe I can cut you a deal. Oh, superintendent. I'm in the middle of an interrogation. Inspector, there's been a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding, sir? As your superior officer, I'm instructing you to release this man. But, sir, I have it on record that he's son on ye. I understand that. I can't simply just cut him loose. I mean, you're asking me to release a criminal with known connections to the triad. And not only is it against well, for protocol... for God's sake, Tang, he's one of us. <gasps> oh, Jesus, Pedro. Let me get the door. There are few badges outside who didn't hear you. It's all right, Wei. We can trust her. Trust her? I just met her. Congratulations, Tang. So now you know. Maybe now we can make sure that we're helping Wei, not making his job harder than it already is, hmm? Yeah, it doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. No, no, you don't. Now see yourself out. Permission to speak freely. Denied. You need to be more careful, Wei. Much more careful. I can't bail you out like this again. Sir, I, I don't want to hear it. Just be careful. Huh. So even though it's a little bit contrived, I think the, the script and the acting is just, it's just really, really great in this game. I, I'm enjoying it a lot. Oh yeah. That's actually a pretty, pretty decent amount of experience that I got there. Almost level one on the tried experience. Okay. Rico's outfit from Just Cause 2. Okay. American gangs and Asian ones don't compare to the clients. I don't like this cocky little fucker. You need to be more careful, Way. Much more careful. Nightmares haunting me. Guilty. Uh, feeling guilt. Uh, infiltrating triads. Something, something to that effect. Okay, so this is the first uh, hangout that you get or apartment. And you have an option to sleep. For some reason, I... Well, hey, sleeping does little but uh, clean your clothes. <laughs> and sometimes it triggers uh, events. Sometimes uh, the game will just tell you to go home and sleep. And then the next day you'll have new, uh, new missions or quests. Here you can change your wardrobe. See, we don't really have a lot. This is uh, what we started out with. This is uh, what we have now. And baggy jeans, very baggy jeans, <laughs> underpants. Well, <laughs> maybe, maybe if I were the type to to play games like Saints Row, I would run around in my underwear. But uh, nope, I'm trying to take this game a little bit more seriously. Okay, canvas sneakers, blah blah blah. The hat, no hat. I'll keep on the uh, the hat for now. Well, actually, maybe I'll just go with this. <laughs> it's so ridiculous, this outfit. Make him look like something from a Robert Rodriguez movie. Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. And this is where you, you can hack surveillance cameras. And you get, <laughs> you get this. Um, one of the more tedious uh, things that you can do in this game is where after you hack the surveillance, uh, surveillance cameras all around the city, you... You can go back to your apartment and uh, and point out uh, a guy who's supposed to be the the drug supplier to some gang and and the the police will go in for the bust uh, gives you uh, easy XP and um, yeah it's a nice touch but it's really really repetitive and there your fridge is always stuck with the uh, stuff and no uh, watch this first of all no liquid second of all. Apparently no trash can, but there are cockroaches, and the cockroaches will apparently eat the tr the the can of oh, and we have moth. Awesome. Okay. Think we'll do one more thing before. You just uh. <laughs> gotta check this conversation out. Does it give him rhythm or make him want to use his mouth a little? Ah. I wish. 
<laughs> oh, ladies, ladies, ladies. You are pure comedy. Okay. And here we have one more health, sh health shrine. So <laughs> sorry about my wonky accent. Uh, I am... I'm Danish and I have bits of American and uh, English accent thrown in there along with whatever the hell the rest of it is. Um, so that's why... That, that's why I have a really noticeable accent that doesn't sound all that American or all that British or whatever. So, now we go for a ride and this this is in my eyes where the game shines aside from the, the combat system because you get the music is just like the selection of music check this out ninja tunes roadrunner if you're into metal uh i think this is a lot of uh hip-hop and stuff and i don't know what that is i never listened to it what the hell uh this is really cool uh let's just listen to that like old funk hell yeah okay let's uh let's get a quest side quest Fashion advice? Alright. Okay, and you'll get to see my awful driving skills. Oh joy. Yeah! Here we go. I did that on purpose, more or less. Maybe not. But uh, for some reason, the parking meters just give you money if you crash into them. And here we go. Hey, mister. You got a moment? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, sure. What's going on? Do you think this shirt is too tight? No, baby. It's not tight enough, I would say. Maybe it's just right. Sucker! <laughs> that will teach you to be a pervert. Pervert? Come on. <laughs> what? Poor guy. Here we go. You ain't getting away from me, motherfucker. Uh, we just passed a stash with money in it. Lots of those hidden around in uh, in Hong Kong. A at least in, in this version of Hong Kong, as depicted by the game. So you really have to you have to push the A button a lot, or else you get uh, clumsy, like min minus XP. Come on. Okay. Okay, fucker. Oh, that did nothing. That did something. And you get shit on. Oh. Little kick to the stomach and some punches to the face. <laughs> Just bang your head into nothing, absolutely nothing. Sit down. And goodbye. You're a bad man. You're a bad man, Wei Shen. Got my face experience back and the Hong Kong dollars. I wish that girl was still there. I would ask if uh, she would do some hustling with me. Not in that way, you pervert. Okay, so I, I think I'm actually going to stop this episode after I find the small deposit of cash. I, if I can find it. Oh, here we go. So... 10,000. Awesome. Okay, so thanks for watching and laters.